guys. I don't understand what's happening. Hey! The whole month we are here, social media. Oh, yes, Mina, no, 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 Nana, that guy, what polygamy, Mina and the son I like this. Hey, Mina, bring evidence. Listen to the voice recording. <laughs> Bro, now we are just listening to your intimate moment. I want to Hi Mara, hey, that's the story for another day. Mara, what are we doing? Mina, I bring evidence. Evidence to do what, guys? What do my ladies are doing? What are we doing, ladies? Mara, why are you doing this? Hi. Oh, my God. Yes, Mina. You can't get the water. 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 Mara, hey, guys. Mina, guys. Guys, Mina. Yes, Mina, guys. Mara, oh, you can't get the water. One gila, one big. I bring evidence. Umoja nanga na mtu kuzepele u six months ulogo pindele lewen. And then besu yampiga. Hi bo. Pele kuchukua bo ba fazba ko ulo mfazwa ko agadi nige zilente nige zayon. Manjege umpige lan mara besevel. I mean I bring evidence. How I bring evidence? We malo. I bring evidence. 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 I am strong. Whatever that is happening, I bring evidence. I am emotionally ready. I'm, I'm, I'm okay. I'm not that one artist that is going to hang herself because of negativity that people are throwing at. I'm not. But God knows, Uguzi, all of them, they have done me wrong. They have done me wrong. I get come on the phone of the film. I echo for tomorrow of no use you. I didn't choose a good thing that people will, will, will come to me and run away. Vault opening. Welcome to the vault. Hello. What is up, you dazzling diamonds and the others? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Linda Kyle, and this is the vault. Anyway, you guys, let's jump straight into this video. Alrighty then you guys and in this video we are going to be talking about Queen Lolly. Isn't it crazy that that girl calls herself Queen Lolly? Isn't there like a, a strip club or a sex house that's called Lolly House or something like that? I think I've heard something like that out there. Alright. Um, Queen Lolly is the lady that was on the podcast the side chick podcast where the side chicks go and they expose the lovers that they've had in the industry. Thus far, it's been men in the industry. And they go onto that show and they sound very proud of themselves. Like, it's an achievement to be a hoe and a thought. Right? Which I find very strange and troubling. Now, this Queen Lolly is said to be, is said to be, or rather, according to her, some kind of musician that nobody actually really knows. I think I've seen one of her clips where she was harmonizing or something. I mean, her voice is fairly decent. However, she does not use her voice or her talent to rise in the industry or make a name for herself in the industry. I, I guess the industry is just so hard. She resorted to sleeping around with men in the industry. One being, she said, apparently allegedly was AKA. Right, so this girl dates guys in the industry, whether they have girlfriends or not. 
basically, she's very comfortable with being a side chick. And we all know that there are many women that are very comfortable with being side chicks. It's a nice thing for them. They they enjoy Hutuwa Malaba. This one in particular, Queen Lolly, um, says that she prefers to be with men that have partners because it's less stress. I don't know what fucking planet she popped out from because usually men that are cheating on their wives or long-term girlfriends usually have multiple other side chicks. Like, you know what, Nam? I don't understand. Like, do these girls ever consider the risk of contracting any incurable diseases or just sexually transmitted diseases because you, you must know man. you must know in your in the depth of your heart that this man has multiple people it's not just you it can't just be you they need more than one they can't help themselves so she said that she was with master kg she was with aka she was with um big zulu I don't know who else. Oh, and then most recent, she was with that polygamy guy, Mseleku, but the son, right? And then the drama happened because she had exposed an audio of her and Mseleku Jr. doing the do. She went on that show saying, I have proof, I have proof that she was doing the do with this Mseleku Jr. guy. Why? Are you getting into sexual relations or any kind of relationship with anyone on the face of the earth and you need to carry around proof with you? Why do you need proof? What, what, what is it for? So this girl is hooking up with all these industry people. So if you're a nigga out there and she, um, you've hooked up with Queen Dolly, you must know now that she has proof. My thinking is this, she collects this proof or this evidence because who just randomly has proof? For what? To blackmail them at some point when she doesn't get her way. Like, huh, don't forget I've got that, that, that video, I've got that thing, that audio. Right? Because why else would you have that? And wow, 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 look where we are today. Her little proof situation came in handy when she went on that podcast. That, that, that dry, dry podcast. Musa, um, what's this? Musa Kaula was actually um, a co-host when this Queen Lolly went there. And this is not the first time Queen Lolly has been on the show. And I bet you it's not going to be the last. Because she gained a little bit of popularity from the first episode. Because people want to know, who was Smang Mang's, um, Master KG's side chick? Who was Big Zulu's side chick? And she came back for more. And I wouldn't be surprised if she came back again. And now she's making claims that she was with AKA after he passes away. But she seemed to have a lot of respect for AKA. Apparently, allegedly, AKA was taking good care of her. Even getting her songs played on MTV base. Yo, guys, I haven't watched normal TV in a very long time. I didn't even know that MTV base and such still exist. You know, but like she was very proud of that. It's never gonna end. It's never gonna end. These thoughts and hopes, in my opinion, they will never go away. Selling your vagina, that's what it is. Selling your vagina is a very lucrative business. And I'm saying this because that's a fact. I'm not saying it so that you young girls can go and do it. And I hope that you're gonna see this video and I hope that you're going to see this video and opt not to be like these girls. Because look at how many people they have to sleep with. Clearly, her sleeping with Big Zulu didn't help her. Because who is she? Clearly, sleeping with them Seleko person didn't help her. Because who is she? Sleeping with AKA didn't help her. Who is she? And after the hype dies down, who is she going to be? But that hoe that slept with all these men, do you see? Oh, I almost dropped my pen <laughs> and I caught it. But do you see that being a thought in a hole, trying to get or rise in the industry? Or I, I don't know, what, what else apart from money? 
I guess for her again, it's a career that she's trying to grow or achieve. I don't know. It doesn't even help because she's a nobody. She's still a nobody. After opening her legs for all these men with all of her proof, it doesn't even freaking matter. She's still a nobody. You'd rather take your chances with your talent and your brains than to be opening your legs to every single Tom, Dick and Harry. It's not worth it. And you're gonna, you're gonna contract some funny diseases. I even saw a video of her with her friends where they were downing a bottle of, what is it? I almost said clip drift. Um, Gordon's! My friend is like, And that's gin. You have to mix it. No, no, no. You could tell with just like um, Cyan Bougie. There was the morning, the morning up the night before. Why do they, why do they do this to themselves? Why do they do this to themselves? It, this is one of those agendas. This is Satan's work. This is not normal. Look at that girl. If you look at her clearly, properly, she's a pretty girl. If she could take all of that brain power and do something with it. Look at people. Okay, I won't use Lady Drew as an example because she has, um, I think that she's had connections in the industry, right? But man, there are so many other artists that pushed and hustled without opening their legs. I don't think every one of these women um, had to sleep their way into the industry. Every single one. If you're talented enough, you're gonna, you're gonna break through. And in this day and age, with the power of the internet, I don't understand why. Can't you just do your own shit? And if people like you, they will find you. And you can be independent. And try, in, instead of trying to squeeze yourself in and squeeze people's penises in you why do you have to do that because now at this point then you come out onto a podcast and you're so proud you're so proud to be at home what does that do for your life what kind of status does that give you honest tunes like when we see you now it's just gonna be like you're trash you can have the most expensive weave smell nice wear designer clothes drive the nicest car but because we know that you're a hoe we, we don't see you for shit. And we saw you down in that corner with your friends. It's like you're trash. In my opinion, that's what it seems like. That's what it looks like. You know what I mean? It's like you're trash. Who's going to take you seriously? Look at people like Uzoto Abandu. The Bam Bam's girl, woman, auntie. Where is she now? Where is she? Apart from the fact that she was twisterizing and stuff, but like that kind of lifestyle is not sustainable. I don't think that. Well, I don't know. Was it also like sleeping around? I really don't know. But in a lifetime, there can only be one Zotwa. Then there's the riff, 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 riff. You know, there's just something about being a hoe that you can't wash. That that it's like a stench, a whole stench. You stink of wholeness, them ship. You can't wash that away. And then you come out to expose yourself because you want to expose the niggas that you slept with. People don't care that those men were also hoes or they cheated on their wives. And people, let's just face it, people don't care. The men will always get away with it. And you might sit there and say, no, but the men must be held responsible. People don't care about the man. He's a man. This is a man's world. The sooner that people start to realize that the better it's going to be for them people care about the hoe the girl you're the hoe and will never forget that shit look at michelin damasa and Leroy. apparently now they broke up but just like michelin is always going to have that stain on her because of Leroy. even if she gets away from him she will always have that she will always be a hoe apparently allegedly on the, in, in the eyes of the public. She might be beautiful and everything, but there's always that thing where you're like, mm -hmm. Hello? Hmm. You know what I mean? What did this Queen Lolly gain? All she's going to gain is people's disrespect. We're going to disrespect her now. Now we have no respect. And these are all the bum girls, you know? The BB Allers, 
Why? When you're not a body BBL, it makes sense. It makes sense why it's the BBL girls. Because that's why they get the BBLs to draw in the men. The men don't even really care about these BBLs. And when they see these BBLs, they want to tap it and leave. Because nine times out of ten, men that are married or are in serious relationships, their women have BBL-like bodies and they are natural. We, we have big bums. We are shaped like that, but naturally. Our bodies obviously cannot compete with the BBL girls because theirs look unnatural. I don't know if they heard that the trend is over now. Some of us are just naturally built like that. And a most South African woman, a low shedding, most South African women, we built like that. We have big bums, big hips. Then you find these other ones. These guys just want to tap you and leave you. They know why they want you. What did you gain? Because honestly, this queen lolly girl, she's not popping. I, I don't see, what is she gaining after all these things? Maybe she gets some money from these guys, I don't know. Or maybe when she's recording them, she blackmails them. I don't know, I'm not saying that this did happen. But there's something deep that's going on because even the um Seleko Senior and the wife have now, there's a lawsuit where she's been asked to, I think, maybe retract or something is going on legally with the video or the audio that she had released of her and Mzeleku Jr. Do you understand that she's an embarrassment? And then she comes out and she addresses Mzeleku Sr. calling him her father-in-law as if she's in that family. Nobody respects you, darling. Like, I want to make a um dad. It's like you're dirty. To that guy's parents and even that guy as time goes on he's gonna look at you some type of way and even if on the side on the back doors he's going to sleep with you he's only coming there to tap you it is never going to be a long-term thing he doesn't even love you he just wants to do the thing with you that's what you're worth that's your worth and you've told the world because you wanted to be popular is that jezebel spirit is that jezebel spirit I find that very strange and actually very sad because when these people go to bed at night, man, get a little bit of do they, how do they feel? How do you feel? Like, tell me, if you're a thought in a whole out there, how do you feel? How does it feel to go to bed as a skin, okay? Do you feel clean? Do you feel loved? Do you actually, you know, I, I don't even like being cat cold. I am disgusted, you know, when, or even when I see people looking at my body or just looking at me in a lustful way. I just want to be away from... Nothing. I could cover myself with a bag. I don't really want to, you know, like... No, man. Ish. There's just something scary about... There's something scary about being sexy these days. It's like... Are these people looking at me because they're admiring or are they starting to plan... Oh yeah, I chica mole. We're gonna grab her. What's gonna is that ah uh, no? Yeah, but there's people that are making a living from it and I, I really don't get it. I will never I will never understand. And I feel really sorry for them. Right? Let me know what you guys actually think in the comment section down below. And if you are a thought or a hope out there, please let us all know. How do you sleep at night? How does it feel? You know? We are really curious. I'm sure the Dazzling Diamonds are also very curious. Do you guys cry yourselves to sleep at night? Because you must be lonely hoes. You must feel that you're not actually getting genuine love. How does that feel? Do you like it? Because when they portray themselves in, in public, it's like they're bad bitches. They can do what they want. They can have what they want. Da -da 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 -da. But like really, it must eat you up inside. If there's... Nothing inside that is already eating you up. If you know, you know, type of situation. Right? Feminine hygiene wash. Ah. Ah. <laughs> wow. Hello, you guys. If you guys haven't already, please do like, share, and subscribe to this channel. And I will say, yeah. And if you guys do enjoy my videos, please do click on that thank you button. Thank you to everyone that has contributed and is clicking on the thank you button. 
I see you. I see you. Unfortunately, it doesn't show on YouTube like the names of who is clicking on the thank you button because I would like to send you guys a shout out. But if you know that it's you, thank you guys. I absolutely do appreciate it. Right? And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.